Wabash County is a county located in the northeastern part of the state of Indiana. With a population of approximately 32,000, it is a relatively small county in terms of population, but it is rich in history, culture, and natural beauty. History The area that is now Wabash County was originally inhabited by Native American tribes, including the Miami and Potawatomi. The first European settlers arrived in the area in the early 19th century, and the county was officially established in 1835. The county was named after the Wabash River, which runs through the area. Throughout the 19th and early 20th centuries, Wabash County was a center for agriculture and manufacturing. The county was home to a variety of businesses, including flour mills, sawmills, and factories that produced furniture, carriages, and farm implements. Economy Today, Wabash County's economy is driven by a variety of industries, including healthcare, manufacturing, and agriculture. Major employers in the county include Wabash National Corporation, a manufacturer of trailers and transportation equipment, and Parkview Wabash Hospital. In recent years, Wabash County has experienced a period of economic growth, with a number of new businesses and industries establishing themselves in the area. The county's economic development efforts are focused on attracting and retaining businesses, promoting workforce development, and supporting entrepreneurship. Recreation Wabash County is home to a variety of recreational opportunities, including parks, lakes, and trails. The county's Parks and Recreation Department maintains several parks throughout the area, including Paradise Spring Historical Park, which features a natural spring, walking trails, and picnic areas. The county is also home to several lakes and reservoirs, including Salamone Lake, Mississinua Lake, and Lake Clare. These lakes offer opportunities for boating, fishing, and camping. The county is also home to the Wabash River Trail, a popular hiking and biking trail that follows the Wabash River through the county. Culture Wabash County is home to a rich cultural heritage, which is reflected in its architecture, museums, and festivals. The county is home to several historic buildings and landmarks, including the Charlie Creek Inn, a historic hotel that was built in 1920 and is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. The county is also home to several museums and cultural institutions, including the Wabash County Historical Museum, the Dr. James Ford Historic Home, and the Honeywell Center, a cultural arts center that hosts a variety of concerts, theater productions, and other cultural events. Throughout the year, Wabash County hosts a variety of festivals and events, including the Wabash County Fair, the Wabash Cannonball Chili for Charity, and the Wabash Herb Fest. Lagro is a town located in Wabash County, Indiana. With a population of approximately 500 people, it is a small, but tight-knit community that is rich in history and natural beauty. History Lagro was founded in the 1830s and was named after Lagro Creek, which runs through the town. Throughout the 19th century, Lagro was an important center for agriculture and manufacturing. The town was home to a variety of businesses, including sawmills, flour mills, and factories that produced agricultural equipment. One of the most significant events in Lagro's history was the construction of the Wabash and Erie Canal in the mid-19th century. The canal brought increased trade and commerce to the area and helped to spur the town's growth. Economy Today, Lagro's economy is driven by a variety of industries, including agriculture, manufacturing, and tourism. The town is home to several small businesses, including restaurants, convenience stores, and automotive repair shops. Recreation Lagro is home to a variety of recreational opportunities, particularly those centered around the Wabash River. The town is home to Lagro Landing, a popular access point for boaters and fishermen. The Wabash River also offers opportunities for kayaking and canoeing. Lagro is also home to the Salamone River State Forest, which features hiking trails, fishing opportunities, and a variety of wildlife. The State Forest is a popular destination for outdoor enthusiasts and nature lovers. Culture 
Lagro is home to several historic sites and landmarks, including the Lagro High Bridge, which was built in the 1800s and is one of the longest and highest railroad bridges in Indiana. The town is also home to the Lagro Historical Society Museum, which features exhibits and artifacts related to the town's history. Throughout the year, Lagro hosts a variety of community events, including the Lagro Fish Fry, which takes place every August and features live music, games, and of course, fish. While Wabash County, Indiana is known for its peaceful and idyllic atmosphere, there have been a few notable incidents that have occurred throughout its history. Here are a few. Wabash County Jailbreak, on October 10, 1909, 11 inmates escaped from the Wabash County Jail in Wabash, Indiana. The escape was planned by a group of men who had been arrested for various crimes, including burglary and theft. The inmates were able to escape through a hole they had dug in the jail's floor. Despite a massive manhunt, only five of the men were captured, and the rest were never found. Huntington Bank Robbery On September 28, 1937, the Huntington Bank in Wabash, Indiana was robbed by three men. The robbers, who were armed with shotguns, made off with approximately $23,000 in cash and bonds. The men were eventually captured and sentenced to prison. Plane Crash On April 11, 1955, a small plane crashed in Wabash County, killing all three people on board. The plane had been en route from Cleveland to Kansas City when it went off course and crashed into a field near Rowan, Indiana. The cause of the crash was never determined. Murder of Kelly Yeager, in 1999, 17-year-old Kelly Yeager was found murdered in a ditch near her home in rural Wabash County. The case remained unsolved for several years, but in 2002, a man named Michael Dean Overby was arrested and charged with Yeager's murder. Overby was convicted and sentenced to life in prison. Wabash County, Indiana has been home to a number of famous individuals throughout its history. Here are a few notable people who were born or lived in Wabash County. Crystal Gale, Crystal Gale was born in Paintsville, Kentucky but grew up in Wabash, Indiana. She is a country music singer known for hits such as Don't It Make My Brown Eyes Blue and Talking In Your Sleep. Dan Quayle, Dan Quayle was born in Indianapolis, Indiana but grew up in Huntington, which is located in Wabash County. He served as Vice President of the United States under President George H.W. Bush from 1989 to 1993. Ralph Teeter, Ralph Teeter was born in Hagerstown, Indiana but lived most of his life in North Manchester, which is located in Wabash County. He was a prolific inventor and is credited with inventing the cruise control device for cars. Burgess Meredith Burgess Meredith was an actor who was born in Cleveland, Ohio but spent part of his childhood in Wabash, Indiana. He is best known for his roles in films such as Rocky and Grumpy Old Men. Mark E. Smith Mark E. Smith was a musician who was born in Salford, England but lived in Wabash, Indiana for a short time during his childhood. He was the lead singer of the post-punk band The Fall. Wabash County Indiana has a variety of dining options for locals and visitors to enjoy. Here are some of the best places to eat in Wabash County. The Charlie Creek Inn, the Charlie Creek Inn, located in downtown Wabash, is a historic hotel that features a fine dining restaurant. The menu features upscale American cuisine, with dishes such as filet mignon, shrimp scampi, and roasted duck breast. The Market Street Grill, the Market Street Grill, located in downtown Wabash, is a casual restaurant that specializes in seafood. The menu features a variety of fresh seafood dishes, including crab cakes, fried shrimp, and lobster mac and cheese. Modox Market, Modox Market, located in downtown Wabash, is a deli that serves sandwiches, soups, and salads. The menu features classic deli sandwiches such as the Reuben and the Turkey Club, as well as unique options such as the Chicken Caesar Wrap. 20 Grand Grill, 20 Grand Grill, located in North Manchester, is a casual restaurant that serves American cuisine. The menu features classic dishes such as burgers, chicken tenders, 
and fish and chips, as well as salads and sandwiches. Mi Pueblo Mexican Restaurant, Mi Pueblo Mexican Restaurant, located in Wabash, is a casual restaurant that serves Mexican cuisine. The menu features traditional Mexican dishes such as tacos, burritos, and enchiladas, as well as specialty dishes such as fajitas and chimichangas. Wabash County, Indiana is home to several historic buildings that have been preserved over the years. Here are some of the oldest and most notable buildings in Wabash County. Wabash County Courthouse The Wabash County Courthouse was built in 1888 and is located in downtown Wabash. It is listed on the National Register of Historic Places and features a clock tower and intricate details on its exterior. Dr. James Ford Historic Home The Dr. James Ford Historic Home was built in 1855 and is located in Wabash. It is listed on the National Register of Historic Places and is an example of Greek Revival architecture. The Eagles Theatre The Eagles Theatre was built in 1906 and is located in downtown Wabash. It is listed on the National Register of Historic Places and has been restored to its original glory, featuring a grand marquee and intricate details inside and out. The Wabash Presbyterian Church the Wabash Presbyterian Church was built in 1869 and is located in downtown Wabash. It is an example of Gothic Revival architecture and features beautiful stained glass windows. The Rowan Covered Bridge The Rowan Covered Bridge was built in 1872 and is located in Rowan. It is one of only a few covered bridges still standing in Indiana and is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Wabash County Indiana is home to a variety of businesses, including manufacturing, healthcare, agriculture, and retail. Here's an in-depth look at some of the businesses in the county. Manchester University Manchester University is a private, liberal arts university located in North Manchester. The university has a long history in the area, having been founded in 1860. It offers undergraduate and graduate degrees in a variety of fields, including education, business, and health care. Ford Meter Box Company The Ford Meter Box Company is a family-owned business that was founded in 1898 in Wabash. It manufactures waterworks products, such as meter boxes, valves, and hydrants, and serves customers worldwide. Midwest Eye Consultants Midwest Eye Consultants is a health care provider that offers a range of services, including eye exams, eyeglasses, and contact lenses. The company has several locations throughout Indiana, including one in Wabash. Poet Biorefining Poet Biorefining is a renewable energy company that produces biofuels, such as ethanol, from corn. The company has a plant in North Manchester that processes over 30 million bushels of corn annually. Walmart Walmart has a store in Wabash that offers a variety of products, including groceries, clothing, electronics, and household items. The store also features a pharmacy and a garden center. Ultra Electronics USSI Ultra Electronics USSI is a manufacturer of underwater acoustic systems, such as sonar and acoustic sensors. The company has a facility in Columbia City, located in Wabash County. Beacon Credit Union Beacon Credit Union is a financial institution that offers banking services, such as checking and savings accounts, loans, and credit cards. It has several branches throughout Indiana, including one in Wabash. Bowen Center Bowen Center is a health care provider that offers behavioral health services, such as therapy and medication management. The center has several locations throughout Indiana, including one in Wabash. Wabash County, Indiana has experienced its fair share of severe weather events over the years. Here are a few of the most notable. Flood of 1913 In March of 1913, a massive flood hit the Midwest, including Wabash County. Heavy rain and melting snow caused the Wabash River to overflow its banks, resulting in significant damage to homes, businesses, and infrastructure. The flood is considered one of the worst natural disasters in Indiana history, with over 200 people killed statewide. Tornado outbreak of 1974 On April 3, 1974, 
a powerful tornado outbreak struck the Midwest, including Wabash County. Several tornadoes touched down in the area, causing extensive damage to buildings and vehicles. In Wabash, one person was killed and several others injured. Flood of 2003, in April of 2003, heavy rain caused flooding in Wabash County and other parts of Indiana. The flooding caused significant damage to homes, businesses, and infrastructure, resulting in millions of dollars in losses. Blizzard of 1978, in January of 1978, a massive blizzard hit the Midwest, including Wabash County. The blizzard dumped over 20 inches of snow in the area, causing widespread power outages and travel disruptions. Heat wave of 2012, in the summer of 2012, a prolonged heat wave struck the Midwest, including Wabash County. Temperatures soared into the triple digits, causing power outages and health issues for residents. Wabash County, Indiana is home to a network of roads and highways that connect its communities and provide access to the wider region. Here is an in-depth look at the roads in Wabash County. U.S. Route 24, U.S. 24 is a major east-west highway that runs through the northern part of Wabash County. It provides access to Fort Wayne to the east and Logansport to the west, as well as several smaller communities in between. State Road 13, SR 13 is a north-south highway that runs through the center of Wabash County. It provides access to the city of Wabash and several smaller communities, as well as connecting to SR 14 to the west and SR 15 to the east. State Road 15, SR 15 is a north-south highway that runs along the eastern edge of Wabash County. It provides access to the city of Wabash and several smaller communities, as well as connecting to US 24 to the north and SR 14 to the south. State Road 16, SR 16 is an east-west highway that runs through the southern part of Wabash County. It provides access to the city of Wabash and several smaller communities, as well as connecting to US 31 to the west and SR 13 to the east. State Road 124, SR 124 is an east-west highway that runs through the northern part of Wabash County. It provides access to the city of Wabash and several smaller communities, as well as connecting to US 24 to the east and SR 13 to the west.